All right, guys. So I know that with the stories that I cover on my channel, uh, sometimes it is hard to tell that there is still sane liberals in this country because the Democrat Party has now become a party of the progressive extremists left, right? I mean, what happened this past week, right, has shown you that, hey, you know what? These people are, you know, extremists. The, the Democrat establishment um, has endorsed uh, some of the more extreme elements of their party to the point where they're okay with the intimidation of Supreme Court justice, right? They're overtly against uh, free speech as well, too, right? Again, these people have become more radical, okay? And they've taken up a large portion of the Democrat party, um, so much so to the point where, again, the establishment left has kind of gotten on board with the progressive left, okay? So with that being said, yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell that there are sane liberals in this country however they're still out there okay they may be few and far between but they're still out there and one of those saying liberals uh is bill maher okay who has routinely spoke out against the extremist elements of the democrat party and continues to do so as he weighed in on uh the supreme court uh protests that have been happening outside of the justice's house and on the left's opposition to free speech and their meltdown over elon musk buying twitter because he's basically going to allow free speech and trump back on the platform and i want to uh comment on this because at this point i got some serious questions for bill maher in regards to why in the hell does he still support the democrat party but before i get in that i just want to let you guys know if you like my channel you want to support my channel you can do so using the links in the description below you support the patreon you support the paypal you support the merch there are multiple ways to support the channel if you would like to do so so without further ado let's go ahead and roll the clip of bill maher discussing the supreme court protest and free speech on twitter take a look because should there be allowed because i the certainly the press spokesman at the white house is down with this jen Psaki said asked about this these are people who are demonstrating outside the houses of the supreme court justices she said I don't have an official U.S. government position on where people protest, but we do. Yeah, I think we do. It's wrong. It's intimidation. It's against the law. I mean, do we have some footage of what? I mean, look, it's not, it's, it's not, uh, it's not terribly violent, obviously, but would you want this outside your house? So, uh, what do you think about uh, Elon Musk saying that he's going to restore Trump back to Twitter? Well, that, because well, I think he followers. wants something a little bigger. He's <laughs> looking for he's looking for something about free speech, was uh, sort of uh, yeah, important okay. to liberals it, it, at well, one point okay. in this country. I, it should still be. I hope so. To well, it in doesn't this look like it sometimes. Well, and the people, it doesn't and, seem important to anybody in this country except this audience and the three of us. Well, <laughs> well I, I've read an awful lot of, of shit written about Elon Musk. That so, so I, one column called him a not too bright billionaire. Oh, really? Column writer? You mean the guy who figured out Tesla and how to put a fucking rocket on the moon and send it back? No. He's the not too bright guy. He says he's for the 80 percent that aren't on the extremes. But if you watch his behavior on Twitter, his bromanship on Twitter, his shit poster in chief on Twitter, he doesn't actually act that way. Yeah. And, what, what, what and, you, like what? Like what are, you, what are we talking about? Well, I mean, Give when me he example. posts, for example, his anti-wokeism on all of the, he picks selectively all of the flags and issues that are on one side of the extreme, but doesn't pick any on the right side of the extreme. He just has a different perspective of well, who are the people because that antagonize Possibly it. it's because Twitter is very left-wing to begin with. He's talking, right. the, he's talking, it's the same thing I do here. It's like some people say... Oh, you know, you, you never used to make fun of the left so much. They didn't used to be so fucking nuts. Well, that's okay. why, I mean, I go where the comedy is. I go where the material is. And also, I want, if the audience is mostly liberal. I want to say the things that they don't hear because they're in a bubble. Well, We're all in bubbles now. Well, yeah, so as you heard there, guys, that is Bill Maher ripping the Democrat Party, uh, basically for getting on board with the extreme left, right? And kind of how much the extreme left has dove off a cliff okay um so that being said um my question is why in the world is bill maher still support the democrat party <laughs> right i don't understand he says all this stuff right like for example during the pandemic he's one of the people that came out him barry we some of the other people was like hey 
you know, these lockdowns, this mass stuff, it doesn't really make any sense, right? He was in direct opposition to the Democrat position, right? When it came to the national anthem, right? Uh, and, and playing the black national anthem and stuff like that. He also was in direct opposition to uh, the far left on that as well, too. When it came to the parental rights and education bill, aka the don't say gay bill, okay? Uh, he also was in direct opposition to the left on that as well. He's been in direct opposition to the left on so many different issues lately. And I'm like, okay, at some point, right, how do you continue to still call yourself a Democrat when you're clearly not on board with them when, when it comes to a lot of these key issues? I really don't understand. And it's just kind of the same question that Sonny Holston has about uh, Anna Navarro on The View, right? And how Anna Navarro clearly uh, agrees more with the Democrat Party than the Republican Party, but she still calls herself a Republican, okay? I mean, she doesn't even vote Republican, right? I think she votes Democrat. I'm pretty sure she voted uh, for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris during the presidential uh, election, right? And she probably voted Democrat down the ticket. So why in the world are you still calling yourself a Republican? Again, same question to Bill Maher. Because you can say all this stuff, but you'll still line up and go and vote for Democrats come the midterm. Okay, you're going to vote for more intimidation of Supreme Court justice. You're going to vote for more anti-free speech policies. You're going to vote for more inflation. You're going to vote for more crime. You're going to vote for all this stuff that you've spoken out against and that you've said are bad about the Democrat Party. But again, you're going to turn around and, and go vote for it, right? I, I really don't understand. That. I really don't get it. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that Bill Maher has to call himself a conservative or anything like that. But again, at what point are you saying, you know what, you guys' vote is no longer guaranteed for me, right? I'm going to actually open my mind up and maybe consider voting for the other party, okay? Now, I understand Bill Maher hates the Republican Party, right? He spent, what, the last 20, 30 years railing against the Republican Party, right? He probably still hates the Republican Party. I just, at this point, don't see how he sees the Republican Party as the lesser of two evils, considering how, again, on a lot of core issues here, he seems to align more with the Republican Party than he does Democrat Party. I really don't understand. It's almost like he just wants to be a Democrat in name only, right? But that's not really where a lot of his beliefs are at, considering, you know, what he's talking about on his show and what he's saying on his show. But at the end of the day, I mean, I, I guess you could say that his beliefs and his viewpoints are the classical liberal position, right? But I don't think that's where the Democrat Party's at. So I think the Democrat Party has embraced the extremist elements of their party, and that's the direction that they're headed in, right? And, wh and whether that comes to social I issues or economic issues, to be quite honest with you, that's the direction that they're going in. It is what it is. And if you don't agree with that, then why do you keep calling yourself a Democrat? I don't understand. I really don't. Again, as much as I like the, uh, Bill Maher coming up here and beating up on the Democrat Party and beating up on the far left, it kind of seems like empty rhetoric to me when you turn around and you continue to vote for those people, right? Because at the end of the day, that's what really counts. Your words don't really mean anything, right? Your, your words only mean something if a vote is backing those words, right? But if your vote is not backing those words, then it doesn't mean anything, right? So it's really hard for me to come out here and to give some of these people, you know, like Bill Maher credit for saying the things they're saying. Um, when they still continue to support the Democrat Party, which means that you are complicit with the things that you're complaining about. Because the Democrat Party, in my opinion, is so extreme. I don't see what um, liberals, sane liberals, have to lose by considering the Republican Party. But at the same time, I, I kind of get it, right? When you're stuck with a two-party system, um, it's, it's tough. It's difficult, right? And that's why I wish that uh, we didn't have a two-party system. I, I wish we had a multi-party system. Uh, in which people could actually really choose and get behind a party that aligns with their beliefs. And I actually think that the country would be a lot less polarized um, if we didn't just wasn't stuck with these two choices. Because I do kind of understand the argument that the Republican Party <laughs> ain't really uh, worth a damn either. Um, but I, I definitely think that they're better than the Democrats at this point, in my opinion, right? Maybe because my beliefs more closely align with the Republican Party than Bill Maher's, but I'm just saying. I definitely understand the argument that <laughs> the Republican Party ain't all that much to be excited about either, okay? Especially the Republican Party at the um, at the national level. But, hey, that's just me. I, I, again, I'm just curious as to why a lot of these guys, even people like Joe Rogan, 
um, Tim Pool as well to continue to identify with the liberal left um, when it's clear that their views don't seem to align with what a majority of the left is on board with anymore. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.